Hello everyone, Genma the Samurai here, and welcome to this part of Golden Sun, The Lost Age. Okay, last part we crossed over here to the west side of the sea. We also explored this place a bit, but we'll have to come back there later. Um, for now we are going to go and explore for a bit. Um, I feel before we go and uh, check out this whole little continent here, I feel it would be a good move to check out this place right here, so let's go. Yay! Um, so yeah, we are almost to Jupiter Lighthouse, though there's still going to be some stuff we're going to have to do before we go in, of course. Um, but that said, yes, we are in the second half of the game, and I am excited over this. Um, we're making progress. I apologize that I haven't been updating this game, you know, as frequently as, uh, I used to. I'm trying to get some stuff out, but, you know, stuff. Um, yeah, so... As I sail through the ocean, I must always ask, you know, how are you guys doing? Um, I've been, uh, you know, uh, approaching the end of the school year and stuff, and just, you know, uh, college and all that. Not been doing too great, if I were to be honest, but hey, you know, that's college. Um, just stuff. I don't know. Um, how are you guys doing? I already asked that, so, there we go. <laughs> Um, Christmas is coming though, which is pretty awesome. Um, just, we set up like a, a tree today or whatever. Um, yeah. So, I don't know. Either way, let's go up here. Um, check out this, uh, frick. Hello, Slayer. Slayer. Uh, I remember these enemies. I think it was around the time that, like, I, uh, saw, what was it, my brother in law. Um, playing Halo one time, and uh, he chose like that one mode. And uh, every time I saw those enemies, I always heard, you know, Slayer in that voice. But anyway, hello. The sea west of here spills over a massive waterfall. You really start to appreciate the grandeur of nature if you see that, I can tell you. Hmm. Okay. Let's uh, go down really quick and uh, investigate, you know, just what's going on around here. Okay, so if I push you over here, hmm, alright, um, oh, I see the puzzle, okay, which one is push, yeah, that's it, okay, come on, come on, move, I see there's another rock there, uh, doesn't seem like we can do anything about it, but hey, whatever, let's push this, Oh. Well, hello. Um, let's go down. Come on. And... We'll go over here. Bop, bop, bop. Hey, treasure chest. And we got some dragon skin. Okay, is that like a forging item? Oh, it is. Okay, well, we'll have to see what we can make with that. And I guess I can explore the rest of this place without doing that other thing. Okay, so if a lot of places are like this... Then we might as well just focus in on, you know, uh, heading over to Jupiter Lighthouse then. Because we're going to be able to do a thing about that after we handle that. But, of course, there's a lot of things we got to do first before we're going to be able to go to Jupiter Lighthouse. So, yeah, sadly. Um, without further ado, though, I think we will be heading to the southern continent out of those two that we saw. Um, this one? Um, hmm. Wait. No, I think it's that one. Actually, I'm not sure. But let's visit uh, this one first, if we can. So. Hey. What are you doing? Go on. Go on. Wub. Aging gas. Okay. Attack. And attack. Cool. So, let's go over here. Wub. And we'll head over to that continent. So, I should also start looking up a gin guide, because I feel that would be really helpful for everyone involved. Um, just because I don't even know where all the gin are in this, I might have to do an episode where I'm collecting them. So, yeah, we'll see. Um, this game still has a lot of stuff you can collect and do, and that is really cool about it. Again, Golden Sun 1 was very uh, focused and didn't, like, really let you explore too much, you know? 
Uh, can I not progress? I guess I can't. Huh, I could have sworn I could have gone past there. Hmm. Oh, we could try heading down? No. That's right. Now I remember loosely that that might have been why I had to go to uh, the northern continent first. I actually can't remember. We're in that part of the game that I don't remember as well. So, yeah. Um, can I go this way? No? Alright. Let's go. Uh, yeah, let's hop off. Let's see if we can get a good look. Because I'm pretty sure Jupes is right over here. But we can't go into it. Um, let's see. No, I can't see it from here. Could have sworn. Well, maybe I. Maybe I can. Uh, let's go down here. Uh, hello, Talon Runner. Boop. Boop. Speaking of Talons, um, I also ordered a uh, Metroid Prime Two or another copy of that, and uh, you guys should. I don't know when I'm gonna play that, but hey, there we go. I do have like the Wii version, but if I ever were to LP it, I would want to do the original GameCube. Because, you know, that's what I did uh, Metro Prime 1 on, and uh, that's a thing. Just me discussing stuff as I'm wandering around and trying to progress, I guess. Um, boop. Making sure I fight every enemy I run into right now, so that I'm all nice and grinded up. Um, yeah, so up there somewhere is Jupiter Lighthouse. However, we can't go there yet. So, sad face. But it's okay. Attack. And attack. Ah, frick. Boop, 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 boop. Flash force. Okay. There we go. So that's cool. Um, let's head left. Yeah, frick. Flee! There we go. Cool. Um... Hello, boat. How's it going? Oh. And more battling. Wow. Wow, I can't go more than two feet without having a random encounter right now. What is this? This is this is getting ridiculous. Uh, what does that do? Oh, defense. Mm. I don't care too much. Okay. Boop. Boop. There we go. Um... Right. Cool. Let's go. So, I guess we're gonna be heading up to this continent then. Uh, I don't even remember which side I was supposed to enter from. I do know that there's a little bit of a maze up there. And, uh, I also know on one of these, uh, beaches, I think there's a djinn that appears. I could be wrong. Um, shoot. <laughs> Again, I don't remember very much. Um, definitely gonna have to look things up before I play again, probably. Um, I would say to comment down below about it, but considering I do like the whole next part thing, you guys don't really see one of these until I record the next part, so, yeah. Um, for now, let's just take the boat into the river here, and, uh, yeah. So you can do that in this game, and it's pretty cool to do that. Um, Oh man, I do like how there's this giant little like inland ocean here. Um, hmm. What's up here? Oh, hello cave. Okay, let's go near. Ah, Shaman Village Cave. Okay, I think we have found the next place we are supposed to go. Um, in that case, let's sit. Ah, oh, frick. Oop, there we go. Whirlwind! I should probably go through the middle door first, just so I can get my bearings. That always seems to be the cr good way to go if you're like gonna, you know, trust the developer. And then there's a ton of these rocks. Okay, so ah, uh, we keep seeing them everywhere. But we don't need that to progress through this, if I remember correctly. So no worries there. Um, I'm getting another mercury gen. Why? Um, shoot, I guess maybe I was supposed to explore other places first, frick if I know. Um, let's go up here, and uh, okay, tack, 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 boop, heat smash, 
There we go. Alright, um... Hmm. So... Can I? Can I? Do I have to lift up the rocks to be able to... Um... Hold on. <coughs> I'm just trying to think really quick. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I guess we're through. Uh, we'll probably have to come back there later. I don't know. Well, here we are at the Shaman Village. Hello. Are we having some secret of mana crud going on? Uh, hello. Okay, we're having some secret of mana crud. Right. Oh, I think there was another gin. Now that I think about it. Um, there is a gin here in this village. In certain locations. Oh, hey, there's a Jupiter gin, which is exactly what we need. Okay, that's good. That's actually really good. I'm really happy about this. Um... So if I go up here... No. It seems to be locked. Oh! Okay. Um, we probably want to talk to the chief then. Oh. This is my house. If you're looking for Malpa, I am... Here I am. Back up. Give me more... Give me some room. Okay. Who have we here? Strangers in Shaman Village. What is your purpose in coming here? Shaman Village does not appreciate intruders. You're not welcome here, Outlander. Leave now and never come back. If there's something you want to say, hurry up and say it. I'll listen, but not for long. Uh, okay. What's wrong? Nothing to say? Then what are you standing around for? Get out of town. Um, so, if you guys remember loosely, this is not a very easy thing to remember how to or what to do with. If you play Golden Sun 1, you might know um, that there was a tribe of uh, uh, wind adepts or something of that nature that lived in uh, the northern uh, continent to the west. And uh, yeah, so that's where we got the Shaman's Rod. That's where Hammock got the Shaman's Rod. So let's show him that. That's the Shaman's Rod. We thought it was we thought it was lost forever. It must belong to the great Hawabna. Hawabna? Okay. Hawabna's staff was a gift from from his great friend Contigo, Yagelos. When Yagelos gave it to him, Hawabna accepted a great responsibility. He vowed to care for the sacred treasure of Contigo, the Hover Jade. When the shaman's rod returns to us, we are charged to give you the bearer the Hover Jade. Have you outlanders come to claim the Hover Jade? I suppose we have, yes. Hmm. That's a shame. We'll never give the Hover Jade to you. But we brought you the shaman's the shaman's rod. What's stopping you from giving us the jade? Huabna handed the Hover Jade down from generation to generation for our care. We are to return it to the descendants of Yogelos. You are clearly not from Contigo. That's preposterous. We returned your rod. We've come so far already. What's diff what difference does it make if we're from Contigo or not? Make no mistake about it. We are the intended recipients of the Stone of Yogelos. If there's some way you can get the hands up... Is there some way we can get our hands on the other jade? No, you asked the impossible. What about the test? Would that be a bad idea, Moapa? You know, Trial Road. Only Yagelos could walk that path. The way of the vanishing sand. Yes, if you outlanders intend to claim the hover jade, you must fetch it and bring it here. You people have the courage. Follow me. Okay. Why not? Let's go. 
If you told us there was a test to begin with, we'd have been out of your hair by now. What kind of test is this? I understand that you're a little concerned, but unless you try it, you'll never know. Give you your best, Felix. Okay. Sounds fun. Um, hmm. Right, so... What's down here? I just wanna go around for a bit. Nope, can't. Alright. Um, they're still being quiet. Alright then, we might as well just go straight there. Um, let's save really quick, because I remember this kicking my butt in the past. So, let's do this. Hello! Okay, there we go. And up here we go. To inherit the stone of your gillos, you must cause the sand to disappear. If you can manage that feat, the blood of Contigo runs through your veins. Okay. Well, we went through those rocks, so we know what to do here. You can do it, Sheba. Leave it to me, Jenna. This will be a breeze. Oh, snap. Sand is going away. I don't believe it. They did it. The sand vanished. The legends, they were all true. She's the one. She must have come from Katigo. Her? She's the one that did it, but she's just a girl. Well, he wanted the sand to vanish, so... Can we have the hover jade now? No, you can. You still can't have it. What? Why not? This was just a test to see if you had the right to take the test to earn the stone. So there's more that they have to do before you'll give them the, give them the stone? You'll have to reach the end of Trial Road. The girls, too? Surely you can't make them. I thought the only ch only the chosen hero could travel the road. What? Are you saying I can't be the chosen hero? Heroes have always been men, ever since the time of Huabna. It is the way. I don't like your attitude, mister. I could be every bit as heroic as some guy. It may be true, but you must respect our customs. It's the same in Contigo, you know. If you don't like it, take it up with your gallows. Hmm. Hold it, hold it! Moapa! What were you just saying about Trial Road? If we reach the end of Trial Road, won't our names join the ranks of your heroes? Hayden's right. It doesn't matter if a girl does it. All that matters is that we finish. If you give us the chance, we will prove it to you. Unless you're afraid that a girl like me might become your town's newest hero. If they're on the right, shall we let them into onto Trial Road? I don't like the way these outsiders were talking to me. I think they need to learn exactly what it takes to be a hero around here. Yeah, if these guys are so stubborn, let's give them a shot. They'll probably give up. You said it yourselves. We're too stubborn to quit. Yeah, if you want us outlanders to leave, you'd better give us a chance to walk the trial road. Trial road is a difficult one. When you reach the top, a terrible battle awaits you. It's difficult enough for me. I expect you'll find it quite impossible. Still interested? Yeah. You seem confident, but it is your ignorance speaking. Okay, let's go. In the meantime, let us go up here, and I want to grab a... Uh, that thing over there if I can? No? Oh. I guess there was no point to me climbing up. Oh. Oh wait, no. Listen carefully to me. This cave provides you with an opportunity to practice your skills. Legends say that Yagelos and Huavna once fought here. These columns commemorate this. They reached one another to they raised one another to the summit. Okay. And there, they fought with all their might on, might on the peak of the mountain. In honor of the great battle, the leaders of the shaman created this trial. The rules are simple. Okay. 
Sorry. The room is filled with traps and snares. Use the power of Contigo to avoid them. This room has four doors to open. Four doors. To open them, you will need to place items in these chests. Whoa! Whoa! I was not expecting that. Felix, you just spoke. You just done spoke. Okay, that's the first time we used this voice since Golden Sun 1, so I need to remember this. Okay. <clears throat> Why? No, that's too, like... What was it? It's something like that. Why? Okay. The door is triggered only when the doors and the treasure chests are filled to the correct weight. Try putting heavier items like weapons and tools into the chests or the doors won't open. Okay. If you reach the door after your opponents do, you will be at a serious disadvantage. You see, it will take twice the weight to open the doors. Stand on the switch, and the number of chests you need to fill will open. Okay. You are last to reach into each of the four doors. You will lose eight items to the chests. Trial road proves too much for you. Press this button. Okay. This ends the battle, though a true hero would not surrender so easily. Okay. In order to reach the battle at the summit, you cannot fail on Trial Road. Do you understand? Yes. Do you understand the treacherous path of Trial Road? Will you continue? Yes. You have heard the rules and you wish to continue. You have been warned. Choose the road of your liking. It matters not to us. Okay. Let's, uh, again, save over this one. Cool. So, let's go up here really quick. I want to grab this chest. Um, I remember this part kicking my butt, though? So, I'm a little bit concerned. Hey, we got a hard nut. How about that? Okay, let's use it. Um, yeah, you. There we go. Okay. So, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go down here, and, uh, we're going to first, um, looking over all of our options, as it were. Okay, let's give the Water of Life to Sheba. Sheba, give the Antidote over to Pierre's. Um, we're going to give the Mist Potion... Actually, let's give that to... Yeah, Sheba. Um, hmm. What does this do again? Equip. There we go. Um, just thinking stuff over. Um, let's give that to Shiba. All of them. There we go. Um, right. Now I'm mostly concerned about the fight. Whoa. That was that was freaky. Um, let's save over it again. Um, is the fight at the end of this segment? is what I'm most worried about, so let's go in. Right, sorry. If you have chosen, then we shall take the other path. On the count of three, the challenge begins. Okay. Boom, 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 oh god, I just remembered. Synergy, uh, sand. Go. Okay. Boom. Uh, chest. Okay. Okay. If I remember correctly, they move even when you have menus open and stuff. So, something you want to worry about a little bit. Okay. Whirlwind. Come on. Gotta climb up. Come on. There we go. Alright, um, boom, okay, um, let's give him a nut, a nut, use, uh, uh, let's give him, I don't know, uh, what do we get, uh, uh, game ticket, okay, 
Wait, what? Yes. Um, item. Frick, what do I have a single item of? Um, let's give him a Sylph Feather. Yeah. Why not? Oh, do I have to give him, like, an actual item? Okay. Let's give him a piece of armor, I guess. Um, let's give him, I guess... Oh, wait, I just realized. Okay. Um, let's give him the shield. Use. Okay, let's go. Alright, cool. So I got that part figured out. Um... Right, so, let's use move, okay, move, what, move, oh god, okay, I have to do it that way, move, there we go, cool, so let's push that down, and, actually no, let's push that one up, and then the reasoning for that is that we can go and grab that item in the chest. Okay, cool. And then... After that... Oh, I might have fudged it up. I might have to go the long way after all. Frick. Um... Oh wait, no, 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 that's not actually the case. Okay. There we go. I got it. God, he's moving way slower than I remember him moving. It's really weirding me out. I mean, he is making progress. He's entering this room. Um, okay, let's choose another piece of armor. Um, something of mine. It has to be something of mine. Um, I can't put the trident in that. It's so dumb. Um, okay, so I have to... Oh! Oh, we have an unused golden ring. No, I can't use that. Of course I can't. Um... Frickin' A. I don't have many heavy items. I'd have to take, like, almost everything off of Pierre's. Um... What is my armor? Uh... Let's use... Frick. I hope I get it back. Please tell me I get it back. Um... Right, so, whirlwind. Okay. I hope I get it back. I really do. Okay. Come on, push. 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 You know, in theory, I could have gone... Wait, no, no, no one's selling nothing to me, so I couldn't go in there and buy anything. I bet that was the whole point of them doing that. Frick. Whatever. Okay. Then we're gonna be up here. Item, yes. Okay. Let's give them... Um... It has to be another one of mine. It has to be. In which case, I guess I have to use that. Please tell me I get my stuff back. I, I I would imagine I would. I don't think I have anything heavy after this, though. I think that was my last heavy thing. Um. Okay. Right, so let's, uh, find... Where's Scoop? There we go. Okay. Um. Scoop! Let's get the scoop on this situation, if you know what I mean. Um... Uh, no, okay. Come on. Alright, um... Let's set that for R, okay. Move. Move. No, come on. There we go. There we go. Cool. So let's go up here. No, alright, I gotta hop across. Come on. Oh, I just realized. God, I'm stupid. Oh, I'm stupid. Wow, I am actually stupid. 
Why would I ever? He's in this room now. He's doing the puzzle. He's going to progress. I gotta move now. God, I'm stupid. Okay, let's go. I don't have any heavy objects. Um... They have a crown. And this is his thing. I feel like you have higher defense than me for some reason, so let's use that. Okay. So now we're up. This is gonna suck. Okay, let's go here. Now they are going to be much more weakened than us. You were quite swift. You may prove a challenge yet. However, just because you're fast doesn't mean you're strong. Challenge or no, I will win. Let the battle begin. Okay, kill. So, um, first things first. We're going to use... Okay, if this is anything like Briggs, and it has the same battle theme, by the way, if you didn't pick up on that, um, we're gonna use Aura. Um, I'm just gonna spam on with Plasma and take out his friends, if possible. Um, so let's just do that for the first turn, see how this goes. Um, okay, Synergy, see how that goes against them. Okay, so win Synergy. Ain't gonna do much to these guys, nor is Earth, it seems. Okay. Strong hit. Oh. 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 Oh my. Um. Is this flower? Um. Aura. Um. Plasma. Uh, wait, no, plasma's not gonna do much, as I just established. Um. Let's do that. And. Shade. Okay. Let's block whatever damage may come. Breath. There we go. Aura. Come on. Flower. There we go. Okay. Bramble Seed. That ain't gonna do much for this turn. But normally it would do a lot, yes. Um, so let's use Echo. Um, let's use Healing Aura. You know, just use regular aura. Um, let's see. Blitz. Um, I'm gonna try and see if I can build up the really good summons. Uh, I don't know if resistance would really help much in this fight, but we could try it. Okay. Because these guys are mostly physically, you know, they're gonna do physical attacks, so I don't know how much... Uh, resistance is gonna help. I guess maybe for stuff like that it'll help, but... Yeah, I don't know. These guys really have their items and stuff, kind of like the drops were when I fought Briggs. Um, let's see. Okay, I could use Reflux. It seems like that would be a good use. Okay, we could use a Mist Potion. Um, right, and, no, we're, we're gonna use the, no, you're gonna use a nut on yourself, um, and then, spring on Felix, okay, reflux, so the reason behind why I chose reflux is they're probably gonna attack Jenna with, like, that, and if they decide to attack her physically, you know, that's gonna be a really stupid move on their part. Um, steel. Okay. Strong hit. Ah. Nope, not on Jenna. Well, that's too bad. Um, hey, we have Boreas. We can do that. Um, iron. Boost our defense. Yes, please. Uh, aura. Um, Laura. Boreas. Aura. There we go. Crystal powder. That did stuff. Flora. Okay. Come on, do your thing. See how much damage this does. Probably not gonna be a lot. That's a proof that they're not really that hurt by wind or earth. Um let's see what water does. I think water did good. Ooh, ooh, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. 
Okay, iron. There we go. Cool. Um, in that case, let's use Zagan, I guess? Or do I wanna... Yeah, let's use Zagan. Healing Aura. Um, Ramsey is the man of gods, the man of gods. Okay. Um, let's do that. Okay. Okay, Ramses. Do your thing. Come on. Boom. Okay. That did a thing. Um, chill. 156 damage, that's not too bad. Zagan. Um, come on. Okay. This is actually going rather chill right now, which is amazing. That's probably because I've been you know, collecting all the gin and stuff, so... Oh. Um... Shade is set. Breath is set. Flower is set. Cool. Uh... Flower! Um... Let's use cannon. And, uh... Hmm... Breath on yourself. And... Shade. There we go. Come on. Alright, the damage is gonna be reduced. Cannon. 155. Flower. There we go. That's not too bad. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Uh, Echo. The Dolphin. Um, Reflux. Um, Blitz, see if that'll do anything, probably not. Steam, Reflux, this is not gonna be a healing turn, so I hope this pays off. Okay, so he's healing himself, which probably means he's really low on health, so if we just keep tanking him, I feel stuff will go well. Strong hit, okay, cool. Um, Let's do, I guess, steel. Um, right. Increase everyone's attack. Um, hide away for a turn. Um, store HP with healing herbs. Um, reduce the flow's resistance. I don't know if that would be a good move. Oh, we got Ulysses. Let's do that. Haze. Okay. Kindle. Boost our attack. Alright, not... Yeah, Ulysses! Come on, let's dish some real damage. Okay. Ooh, yes! We got him, we got Malpa. Okay. Now we just gotta take out his goonies. Okay, so... Let's use Flora. Um... Cycle Beam. Seems like that'd be an epic attack to use. Um, Shine Plasma. Oh, I had that, and I could have used it. That probably would have done better. Uh, whatever. And... Megara. Cycle Beam! Ah, uh, that didn't do much, but hey, whatever. I wanted to use it. Okay, we've already seen that one. Okay. Megara! Oh, they're still up and running. Actually, I'm starting to get a little bit worried now. Because I'm not really doing a whole lot of healing right now. Okay, so they're just using nuts on each other. These nuts, if you know what I mean. Anyway. Um, right. Let's use that. Um, healing Aura. Um, right. Let's do another Shine Plasma. And, uh, really just, I guess we'll do another, we'll do Diamond Dust to see how that goes. Okay. Diamond Dust, 250, right there. Ooh. Okay. Diamond Plasma. Strong hit. Yeah. These guys aren't that tough. I'm really amazed. Okay. Um. Like, as long as you play smart, 
Wow. Um, Ragnarok, I guess. Wait a little bit. Uh, Ramses, you can do that. Um, Aura. Waft? Rhyme. Oh, there we go. Ramsey's the man goes. Okay. Either. Got it. Attack. Let's just do regular attack. I think this guy's pretty much done at this point. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Right, Jenna. Wow. Alright, alright. You've proven your strength and you are heroes indeed. As we promised, you will receive the hover jade, and we will take it, and we will take the shaman's shaman's rod. Oh. Okay. After many years, the vow that Hoabna made to Yagelos has at last been fulfilled. I'm tired now. I'll be back in the shaman village resting. I'm sure you must be ex exhausted as well. Let's go back to the village and rest. Okay. Cool. So we're back. Um. Do we have our items back? Yes, we do. Okay, cool. I was incredibly worried about that. Alright. Well, let me check you. Yes. He has the stuff back, too. Alright. Awesome. Um, let's use, uh... Yoink. Growth. And then we'll switch it back. Okay. Um, I also realize we're... Almost up to 50 minutes. I might as well just go to 50 minutes. Just collect what we can. And we got spirit gloves. Cool. I'll have to give those to uh, someone who can have, who needs more defense. Eh. All right. And we'll go upstairs and go out this way. All right. Cool. So. Yeah, actually, first things first, I want to collect that gin, and then we'll worry about talking to Moabna. Um, but I feel there's nothing else that we really need to converse there. Actually, there is a thing at the end of that trial area. Um, I might jump cut to me walking to the other end, because I want to collect a thing there. Um, but yes, so I'll push that, and I guess we'll have to go from another vantage point, I guess? How do I get on the other side of that? Okay. Um. Hmm. Let's go. Oh, I see the rope. The rope. The rope. Okay, so I do need to go see Moabna. Okay. Let's go talk to him. You defeated me, and yet I still don't know your names. Would you tell me? Yeah. Felix, Jenna, Sheba, and Piers. I shall remember those names. Do not forget the names of the heroes who can defeat me in fair combat. Okay. Well, let's go down. And, uh, we'll exit this door. Use the good old lash. Boop. But yeah, that was interesting. Um, we got ourselves the hover gem, I think. Right? Yes. Yes, we did. Um, and I think that will help us to get to Jupiter Lighthouse. So... Hey, we might be starting that in uh, two parts. That's crazy. This is going way faster than I thought it would. Like, wow. Um, but hey, we got the Jupiter Gin Aroma. Cool. Um, let's give that to you. And then you're going to give Rhyme over to him. For reason. It's a good joke. And uh, Aroma restores everyone's PP. Not that kind of PP. If you're doing that, is wow, you're mature. Um. Anyways, jokes aside. No, I can't just jump down that one. Ah. I can there. Okay, that's good. So I'll see you guys back at the top of the mountain real quick. Okay, never mind, guys. I say that for the sake of this music. I haven't heard this since Golden Sun One. Oh, I love this music. Do, 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 do. So 
sorry. It's just so good. Ah. I just really love the music in Golden Sun. I don't know. It's interesting. Especially now that I've been playing Tails. And this guy, he had... I, I don't know what it is. He has a certain, like, style about him that kind of doesn't really show up in the Tails games too much. At least from what I've seen. He, it's not that he's bad in those games. They're just different. And... I don't know. Um... Like I said, I think that his music in the Tales games, particularly like in, in some instances, like I can name a few towns in Symphonia, at least so far that I'm playing, that I do like the music, but yeah, it's definitely a different kind of thing when he's doing a game like this. Uh, I just really love it. But anyway, I'll see you guys at the top of the mountain because, yeah, video life. And welcome back, guys. Okay. So, really quick, we are going to actually test out our brand new hover gem right here. So, let's give it to you, and then you are going to, uh, use hover. Um, so it is this synergy? Yes. Okay, so, let's go there. Boom. It only lasts for- oh, frick, really? Okay, we'll have to come back here, too. So, I think you guys were tuning into this part of, uh, Golden Sun, The Lost Age. And I'll see you guys next time, where we progress onward. So, hope you guys have a great day. Mm, bye!